What's up, everyone? Tiger Teal, and uh, I just wanted to come on here and talk about the Edge of Sleep. Obviously, if you're here, you know what that is because it's in the title. So, this is the second time I've recorded this. First time I recorded it, it had zero sound, and this kind of annoys the piss out of me. But, if you don't want spoilers, I won't be mad if you dip out of the video now. If you haven't watched it already, uh, you can watch it on Prime Video. I highly recommend it. So, those of you that don't mind spoilers, have already watched it, want to talk about it, if you're Markiplier, if I can love you anyway, whatever. So, let's talk about The Edge of Sleep. Those that have watched it, that you're still here, if you don't know, if you do know, it's a six-episode series on Amazon Prime. The executive producer is Markiplier, the head lead actor in it is Markiplier, and everyone that was casted did very well. I just have to say that off the rip, acting was top notch. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed watching this series. It's about Markiplier, which I believe his name is Adam in it. Please, I don't remember. I'm horrible with names. Uh, but Adam, growing up, had these nightmares and it caused like really bad sleep and caused him to do like this psychosis and he's got a psychological disorder because of it well they wakes up one day he's a night guardsman at a pharmaceutical company and they leave they go to this party and they find people are just dying and they have no clue why and then all of a sudden it's it's after they fell asleep that they died and like this mass pandemic of people just dying um after falling asleep as they're falling asleep and then he has this dream of a whale, and this whale is like the main protagonist. He's a protector of everyone in the dream world, and in the real world, because people die in their dreams, so therefore they die in real life. So the whale is like the protector, and the main antagonist is the Elephant Man. Well, the Elephant Man marks everyone with a triangle that he kills, right? So, like, there was a cadaver that had a triangle marked on the brain. And you'll see, like, later on in the episodes, I think it was, like, episode three or four, that Markiplier's character actually branded himself um, in the midst of a dream with that on his chest. And that caused tension between him and his girlfriend, leading them to break up. So... It goes on, and later on, they find out, like, it is the Elephant Man killing people in their dreams, and then the dream people that he meets in his dreams are like, hey, come to this island that nobody knew existed. So, this is, what, 72-ish hours of no sleep? So, at certain stages of no sleep you start inherently having more intoxicated rhythms of actions and stuff like that you go into a certain psychosis your body just naturally starts shutting down because you need sleep you need to reset your mental psyche and all that and um i mean it it shows the true like actions of what would happen if you lack sleep and it's like that. So they get to this island at the end, and they, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to give it to you because if you haven't watched it, I don't want to just give away the entire thing. If you have, you already know what happened. But let me just say my true thoughts. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think the acting of everyone involved was super good. If they're, if they're CGI, it, doesn't look like CGI. It's like honestly, like everything looks great. I didn't know that plane existed. I didn't think there there's a rear turbine plane in existence, but maybe it's a little too rich for my blood. I'm in the Air Force. I still never know nothing with that. All of them the turbines are on the front. So it kind of threw me off off the rip. Uh the song in that is a very catchy song. Uh you can watch it within three hours you can watch all six episodes and it's great i think it could have been made into a movie it's very cinematic in how it's done and 
it makes me excited for Iron Lung because I know that Mark Plunder put in so much time and effort into it that even with the show that he did on the side, or that he's also put a lot of time and effort in, and how well this turned out, and the cliffhanger that it left, just the impression it had on me is that it excites me for the Iron Lung. So, if you're Mark Flower watching this, thank you for putting it out. I really appreciated it. I appreciated the work that you put into it and stuff like that. And anyone else watching it, I do have it in the description here. Go watch it. Tell anyone to go watch it, whatever. If you don't have Prime Video, find someone that does. I'm sure someone that you know has it because, you know, Christmas gifts, whatever. If you don't support that crap, whatever, you don't have to go watch it. I'm, I don't care. Right, but I thoroughly enjoyed it, and that's my honest thoughts and opinions on it. Uh, so with that, I'll cut this short. It's six minutes long already, and my lighting. I finally am starting to get my lighting set up going. <laughs> Got a ring light over there and a ceiling light over there. So eventually, I'll have studio lights. So I have two. Whatever. I just put my black light over there. Eventually, I'll put my actual posters. Enough about me. So with that, go on good today. Stay golden, stay safe. Tell someone you love them. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Or whatever Mark Flair is. See ya.